Okie doke. The month is half over. It's November 15th. Can you believe that? Um, we are doing... Today's pattern is Day's Ease by Alice Hendon. There you go. Ah, oh, sun. Sorry. So, it's another grid pattern. What's the deal with the grid patterns? Where, where, where are my organic patterns? I don't know. But, oh well. Okay, so, draw your grid. In this grid, you will draw, um, a rice shape and kind of fill it in with uh, lines. It, I don't know if you want to do it from the outside toward the middle or if it might be easier to draw a really skinny um, rice shape and then do more on the outside. Kind of depends on you. I'm trying to figure out how many lines they actually put in here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like, <clears throat> excuse me. It looks like they might have actually drawn one from corner to corner and then done two auras on the outside of each, which is what it looks like. The step out uh, doesn't have exactly how that's supposed to be done, but that's, although, when I look at it close, yeah, that's that's what it looks like because that looks like it's going from corner to corner exactly. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you'll go corner to corner and then do two on each side. That'll give you your five um, little bits there. And then you'll color just the half all the way around and just do it sort of in a Knight's Bridge sort of a thing. So it ends up looking like that. And um, yeah, we'll see what, see what I end up with. You never know, cause it's me and it's grids. <sighs> so many grids in a row. I'm, I'm looking forward to a more organic tangle here soon. I didn't, when I did the C's, I did kind of look ahead, but I did not look ahead on the D's, so I don't know what's coming next. All right. Um. I think I'm gonna want it slightly wonky. I'm not going to go overly wonky, but I'm going to go slightly wonky. So I'm going to start here and kind of go upward. Like that. And then on this side, I really don't want big triangles. I do want it to still be square-ish. So I want to make sure I kind of go like that. Okay. You see how I did that to make a, a more um, non-standard grid? So here we go, in ink. Now, you know, you could just ink to start with. But when I do grids, I prefer to plan them out a little bit in pencil, just, just so I feel more comfortable with them. You do what you need to do. <clears throat> The official Zentangle method would say to just ink and not um, not use that pencil as a grid thought process, but you know. 
All right, so there's a sort of a non-standard grid, but you can see that it's, it's definitely a grid. Okay, so now we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to start, I'm actually going to start in the middle so I am paying more attention to what's going on here with my thing. I'm going to go here. It's going to go here. Corner to corner. It's going to go here. I don't have a corner over there. Here. Right. Here. So I'm going to start here. <clears throat> I'm going to do one, two, and I'm going to do one, two. Okay. One, two. I can do it. I don't have. To, I don't have to turn my tile, but I'm more comfortable if I turn my tile. This is a lot like um, Bales or Fife. I believe it's Bales. One or the other. So then from this one, they're going to go this way, that way, and that way. So then there's going to be one going there and one going off that direction somewhere. One, two, turn, one, two. When you get those wonky grids, you get you get some of them have longer uh, diagonals than others, which I really like. So now this one's going to go this way, and this one's going to go somewhere over there, and this one's going to go somewhere over there, wherever my corner would have ended up. Okay, so now this one goes this way. That one goes that way. And this one. This one ends up up there, and that one ends up over there somewhere. Okay, there's step one, or step two, whichever you call it. Now, we want to 
do some sort of darkening in of as you turn it it's going to be here 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 and here don't usually f plan this out this much, but I need to make sure my darks and my lights are opposite each other like they're supposed to be. This one's light, then that one's light, then this one's dark. That one's dark, and that one's dark, and that one's dark, okay. This one's dark, then this one's dark, and that one's light, then this one's dark, and this one's dark, and this one's dark, okay. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out the every other dark spot. And I really don't feel like filling it completely in. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put stripes going the other way, like here. like that. Those are going to be my dark or shaded parts. Because sometimes I just don't feel like having a super dark tile. this contrast of, of the lines going one way and the lines going another. I think that makes it very interesting tile. Okay, so then this is going this way. I'm not worrying about that tiny little bit of pencil that I put in there this time because it's so light I almost can't see it and by the time I draw over the top of it I don't really see it at all it'll just blend in with my with my shading okay so I want this one Make sure you're starting and stopping your your lines intentionally, try not to go over 
what you've already drawn. Sometimes it happens, but try not to. Okay, I'm going to start right on that line and I'm going to stop right on that line. Make it an intentional, intentional line. Yeah, trying to remember where I was at here. I got real quiet. Sorry, I'm in the zone. I, I like doing these little lines. That they they soothe me. any I don't think so I think I got them all all right so now to decide how I want to shade this guy oh my umbrella's falling over again You can tell because it got bright. This is not really working the way I had intended. Let's try a little more tape. Maybe down here instead. Try a different place of contact with my umbrella. All right. Um, meanwhile, have I decided how I'm going to shade this? Uh, do I want these things floating on top of that? I think I do. So in order to do that, I need to do right along this edge on all of them. Just on the outside of the little rice shape thing. Because that will make the rice shapes lift off the page and be on top of the black and white checks. Holy moly, 
it's hot. It's November. Should not be hot. Of course, it might be hot where you live if you are in the part of the world where it's opposite seasons from me. Maybe it's supposed to be hot. But when we are in our fall, headed into winter, it's almost halfway to winter, right? Uh, should not be 90 degrees. It's supposed to be 90 again today, I think. It was 90 yesterday. Way too hot. Now it might not be 90 on November 15th. Is that when this is going to air? This is supposed to be the drawing for. Come on. Uh oh. Back too far. Pattern focus. Yes, today's supposed to be November 15th. I'm doing this little head. It is not no November 15th. It is closer to the beginning of November. However, it still shouldn't be 90 degrees in November. Roasty toasty. And then I sit in this window when I draw so I can have some good natural light. But I don't want it like beating in on me and making super bright patches. So I put this umbrella up to diffuse the light a little bit. I have gone completely off the screen. And yes, I know there are things I can do to make it so that I don't go completely off the screen. However, I've discovered that even with my marks and things on my pages, it's really kind of odd. And, and I, maybe I will I'll do a, a short little video of, of the oddball shape that the camera does because of its angles. That's why it's hard for me to pay attention. Not really pay attention, but how it's hard for me to get my mind around the fact that the, the shape is so weird. The shape of where I need to keep my page inside is, is a bit odd. I like this, the way it's popping right up off the page like that. Because you could shade this in various other ways. I could have shaded just the little um, rice shapes and that would have looked different. But I decided they needed to pop up off, off of the background.
All right. I like that. I like the way that looks. Um, make sure I write down the name of the pattern here. This is D A Y Z E A Z E. Daisies, which don't look anything like a daisy. The one we did yesterday looked more like a daisy because of the way I drew it. But whatever. That came out pretty good. I really enjoyed doing this today. Those lines made me relaxed and happy. So I encourage you guys to give this one a try. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.